Hello, social media friends. I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News, and Danny Barrera has the story. On Thursday, October 10th, at approximately 10.18 a.m., a call came in to Odessa Police about a disturbance at Permian High School. After 9.19, we switched classes. That's just a switching period for every kid. So about 9.20, while we were walking to our first period, our third period, walking to our third period, um, they just, we just heard a commotion. I heard, sir, you gotta calm down. Sure, you gotta calm down really loudly from like six other teachers. And then about, we did thought of nothing. We started walking still. Uh, then they came back running about five seconds after um, telling everybody, get out, you gotta get out. Rumor quickly spread that a gun fell out of the pocket of one of the students involved in a fight that started between M Hall and G Hall of the school, and that shots were fired causing chaos and a stampede towards the exits. At M Hall, a fight broke out and one of my friends, well, the person he was fighting, a gun had pulled, pulled a gun out and pointed it to my friend's chest. They, started, they said run, get out, the, get out the school. So we ran and uh, it just started getting really, really packed once we got near the exit. And we just ran and we didn't, we didn't stop running until we knew we were a safe distance away from the school. There was this one girl, she got trampled. Um, I tried to help her up, but we couldn't. There's just too much kids there running. So we ran, we ran, we were on the first ones to get out of school. So we were running, we ran real quick. And it just, at first when we were running, it was a little calmer run. And then as we got further, it got very more chaotic and it got more chaotic when we ran out when i ran out i saw so many girls crying because and they came out of the jay hall exit parents that live close to permian say that ecisd has to do more to keep students and faculty safe but ecisd needs to do something with searching backpacks putting uh, metal detectors do something because this is really getting out of hand it's ridiculous i mean it's not safe it's not safe anymore you always have to be looking behind you, around you. I mean, yeah, you always have to be an alert, but now more an alert than ever because you don't know who's behind you or who's next to you. Odessa Police, Texas Department of Public Safety, Odessa Fire Rescue, and ECISD Police responded to Permian. Officers systematically investigated and cleared each hallway. Airtor County ISD stated that there was no active shooter at Permian. A fire alarm was activated at the school, which may have caused the panic. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Also at DannyVisionEntertainment.com. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez. This DRB Media Communications Digital News segment sponsored by RS Jewelers for jewelry, handbags, and art. It's RS Jewelers located at 3950 East 42nd Street in the Santa Fe Shopping Center in Odessa, Texas. If you're looking for unique fine jewelry from India, then come in and visit RS Jewelers in the Santa Fe Square Shopping Center in Odessa. RS Jewelers has a wonderful selection of one-of-a-kind diamond necklaces, beautiful selection of gold bracelets, Show your special someone how you feel with a diamond ring from RS Jewelers. RS Jewelers also custom designs jewelry that is unique and special just for you. For jewelry, art, and handbags, it's RS Jewelers in the Santa Fe Square Shopping Center at 3950 East 42nd Street, Odessa.